This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, part two of The Slate, episode two. Show that takes a mystery out of the facts and techniques to go inside your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and today we're getting to the second part of the second episode of The Slate, which you guys have been requesting, so I'm giving it to you. Uh, the episode. Logo. Yes. I think I'd, I'd lost my mind. To die for. To die for. I'll choose the best. Oh, oh, I'm not going to be No, it's just no, us. It's just it's just you look for me and Ryan's new podcast. <laughs> I'll choose like the best. It's like when you go to shake somebody's hand and they miss you and you're just like, oh. Yeah. Ah. Short answer, just a couple sentences. Mm -hmm. You, how did you get to to here? I mean, obviously you just said, I don't know, I guess to, to revision three, but where do you want to go? If you get offered a, a film deal, you're going to drop everything and go for it? Or is the internet like your your home base, your safety net? I think absolutely the internet. The internet. The internet. <clears throat> the internet. That's where the internet. Yeah, the internet. <laughs> absolutely the internet. The inner bird. The inner bird. The internet. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's definitely without a doubt the my baby, my home. Um, and I, I think even if I make feature films, because <laughs> yeah. that's all I want to do is get there. I don't even care if they live on the internet. If you're watching it at home, I don't care. I just want to make feature films. Pay they the don't bills. have to be in theaters. I don't care. I just want yeah. to tell stories. Right. And if it's through the internet, that's amazing because that's instant feedback. I don't have to wait for numbers and wonder what my movie is doing in a theater, wonder what an audience is doing. People are going to be commenting on it right away. I'm going to see the numbers right away. I think that's an awesome interaction with an audience that's out there, especially things like Twitter and Facebook. I mean, if somebody paid you some fat coin, dude. Oh, kidding? <laughs> Me? Heck yeah. yeah. Do I wouldn't deny I'd be like, in? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not going to turn it down. Well, I mean, well, that, that's the thing. I think there is an interesting point, and let's go around before we get derailed again. But, like, yeah. th there's an interesting element to your question, which is what is going to be the clip that you have the out where it's like, like, you know, if Universal approached you and said, hey, listen, Whatever, name your dream project. We're gonna make it. Then right. you would be like, okay, film lines going you on hiatus, know. kids. Yeah. We're I'm gonna box. make a movie. But, but even when we do that, it won't. It'll follow us. It'll become production diaries. It will evolve into something. Which was square one. That's what I always wanted. That was my pitch to Rep Three. Like, you know, if my career, hopefully, my career goes in this direction, and if it does, it's gonna turn into a so reality show. All right, all right, five hundred thousand. Uh, we can't have the film right thing though. Like, yeah, oh. I have to like ditch it fully. I mean, just like, just just for the production. Five hundred thousand. Oh, I'll pause. <laughs> oh, pop, okay, hiatus. Yeah. I'll tell. I'll be like, guys. I'll be back. And I think yeah. most of my fans would be like, they're making a feature. No, oh, yeah. no, no, they would. Be, you would get nothing like, but hate. What happened to old film, Ryan? All right, let me take it back. I would never close. <laughs> there you go. I would Screw never you, sell Justin out my band. You suit. <laughs> Because uh, you sold out to me. <laughs> I and I'm at Umberto's in Pembroke $500,000. So, <laughs> oh, but, my soul, think, where is it? I think you have totally nailed the heart of what makes internet different from television or any other medium out there. It's the personal connection. People yeah. fully expect to be able to interact. They feel like they have an ownership and the personality, the real life personality. And it's the honesty of the internet that makes it a special medium. Yeah, because you know what? I mean, as much as uh, you know, they feel like we're, at, we're giving them content, and it's like, oh, thank you for the content you're giving me. The internet and our audience has taught me half how to be a filmmaker and tell a story. Because yeah. we put something out and people are like, meh, nope, didn't like this, didn't like that. And I'm like, crap, you know what? They're right. And we go back and we do it. We did one episode where we did the war short, actually. Mm -hmm. And we put it out and I didn't, my ears tickles thought it sounded wonderful. We put it out. Ears my ears testicles yes. uh, thought it sounded wonderful. <laughs> and the, the YouTube went ablaze with, ah, these sound effects don't sound very good. And you know what? You get, you get people who are complete D-bags on the internet. Yeah. But then you have like really cool audience, which is like, you guys did amazing. Amazing, but here's a little critique. Uh, the sound effects not so good. Yeah. And I went back. Sound effects like, are and, and you're always you spend so much time on something, so you're always like, no, it was great. But Shut you up. can't you can't deny when, it, no. when the numbers. Yeah, and up. I went back and I listened to it. And I'm like, holy crap, the sound effects sound terrible. So let me ask Todd now. Todd, being a, an actor, right? Obviously, mm -hmm. uh, you've done a tremendous amount of work on stage at plays, and obviously working with film right for for the shorts like Losses and Tell. Uh, the um, if you were told flat out right now, you can have. Uh, minor roles on television for the rest of your life, 
and you'll be one of those that guys where it's like they recognize your face, but they're like, when you need or you can be the serial murderer's friend. That's I'm right. right. Trace. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You're, you're the guy that when they say their name, they're like, if I saw him, I'd. I'd yeah. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. be that guy. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. the fat cop from the thing. <laughs> yes. Because exactly. at this point, you've you've fallen into gluttony. Because <laughs> oh, okay. you're like, I'll never okay. be more than a TV actor. Or you could play lead roles that will continue to be successful on the internet, and you'll always get say 10% the audience that you would have had on television, but those people would know you as a leading man. Would would you take which would you take and why? The second one, but not because uh, of being a leading man or anything like that. It's just those roles are more interesting, and uh, I don't want. I, I'm not impressed with the whole playing a uh, an under five on on TV and those kind of characters. Don't under five, li under five lines. Yeah. Oh, oh I sorry. Yeah. I learned something today. I was today. just nodding on my head. They use a lot of makeup to make it look like a yes. <laughs> For me, as as an actor, it's a, it's a matter of what's the more interesting role. I don't care how big a part is or how small it is, as long as it's interesting to me. Well, what about you guys? Yeah, what's what about you? I mean, you, you scam school on TV. You, you shut down uh, your scam school and your internet stuff, NSFW, everything, and you, oh, you have your own. Yeah, it's all got to go. It's oh, gone. I could. I could uh, this, this was not a theoretical thing for me. Uh, last year, there was a. Uh, uh, there was a uh, company in Europe that uh, that wanted to we, we pitched to eight different networks that's where you'll notice there's some NSFW episodes where I'm in New York that's because we were pitching to Comedy Central to MTV uh, and and part of the negotiations were like oh we'll have to shut down X Y and Z and I'm like well I'm, I'm not there's I need to maintain some kind of lifeline to this community because yeah. everything they are the lifeblood they are the connection I have and there will never be a a project where I full on shut off because it's a two way street. I love hearing from them and they love they love the, the, the personal connection that we have. Yeah, absolutely. And and I think we're right in the gray area right now where people seem to feel like they need to shut off all these different avenues. But I think they're realizing that what they need are personalities that uh, that control their own brand in a responsible way. And I'll, I'll tell you where I'm seeing it was the two years where I did Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. One year they were flat out you know, 2008, it was like, no, 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 we control everything. You don't mention it, you don't tweet about it, you don't live blog it, you don't talk about it. Right. And then, uh, but then by 2010, they're like, well, we understand that you have a big following, we Go understand crazy. that you live stream, we'd, uh, we'd like to we'd like to partner with you to make sure this is what we would like you to talk about, this is what we wouldn't like you to talk about. Right. And I think we're going to see more and more of that. Don't talk about the fact that we kill kids at the park. That's yeah, right. Leave that Please out of it. Please keep it Please. out. Yeah. But that's interesting. Was that changed because it, it somehow benefited them? It's Well, it's a two-way street. Part of it changes because obviously well, my... Then, then my scared. popularity changed over those last two years, right? Mm. So it's like I was a more known commodity and I had experience live streaming and that's part of the reason they brought me back. And an audience is power. Yeah, exactly, mm. exactly. You know, that's, and, uh, but then also I think they understand this uh, changing world because it used to be black and white. Like, you take a picture backstage, you're out and you're you're blacklisted and that's yeah. screwed. We see, a, you know, someone half dressed in a con monster costume, then, you know, you're a dead man. Right, yeah. But, uh, but I think you're going to continue to see more of that change. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you, man, there will never be a time that I don't continue to do some kind of live streaming, some kind of blogging, some kind of connection with the audience. Because I, I did I, I did the Tonight Show twice, never got recognized on the street. Yeah. It's two dozen national TV shows, yeah. never got recognized on the street. Nowadays, when I walk down the street, uh, one in four times at the airport, especially if I have my hair up, it's, you know, from across the room, scam school! Yeah, which is always mind-blowing, because when you think about how many views, like, it, my show gets, and then, you know, we get recognized once to twice a month now. Yeah. When mm -hmm. It's like, how? No, 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 no. Look, the, I, like, I've, I've like, seen the well, numbers you guys do. You guys do low cable numbers. You do you do real TV numbers, and you do it without a traditional network of any kind, and right. that is mm -hmm. phenomenal. That right. that is no, the power. That's, uh, you guys, you guys have a huge. What about music. what about you? Talk show on a uh, national television station. But you have to drop everything. But you're you out of NSFW. No more comedy albums. No more Night Attack number four on the yeah, Billboard charts. I mean, no, and I'm a suit control on your I think, Twitter. I think that there's never mm -hmm. there's never going to be a point. And and I think from what you said, the change in terms of. Any stupid, ridiculous decision, like the, the, what the suits at MTV were telling you, what Cork TV was telling you, what anybody was casting you and anything is going to tell you, in terms of the internet, it's all fear. It's people who don't want to get fired right. for right. a decision they're making. No. And what yeah. we're seeing That's is that That's why the now, answer is always no on yeah. anything. When yeah, you start and if to... you're controlling your own content, it's like, whatever, let's except, do it. Except, except now... The, there's more of an audience that we are seeing on, on the internet. So now yeah. the fear is, am I the guy who told him to not 
do this? Did we miss right. out? Yeah. Did I miss yeah, no, out? No, that's a really now, good point. Now, if I put out Karen from MTV told me that I had to shut down Film Riot, what do <laughs> yeah. you guys think? And now right. all of a sudden, a billion calls come in, and then the person like, above her is like, like, what? what? What do we do? Now we're the people that killed the internet? Yeah. That's what they are always afraid of being the person who did something wrong. So, well, and that's why, that's why what, one thing we've noticed with with NSFW, because we have, we have a relatively small but extremely passionate fan base with NSFW, and yeah. we see people who, who have literally millions of Twitter followers ask something to happen and they can't get it done and then they go to watch us with you know low five digits numbers watching yeah. the show yeah. and we're able to send out and all of a sudden just magic happens and they right. go to the top well, of the like, like people like you'll have a, a, an audience of 100 like to scale yeah audience of 100 they'll ask them to do something 10 people will do it we have an audience of 20 and all 20 do it <laughs> right. yeah, I, mean, I mean that's another thing that's a difference between uh, old media and new media is the whole fact of that unity of you and your audience user engagement yeah and yeah. you know I mean you know you do another project where it's not like this you go out there and it's the most stressful awful thing is it good or is it not do I suck I'm terrible you have a bad day you, we have a bad day with Film Riot or I'm sure you've done it and you tweet something a little oh my gosh I feel that you get like freaking 100 people being like hey man you guys are awesome yeah. keep going we love well, what you do everybody has an act and you're like, oh my yeah. gosh, I, 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 let's do this. Uh, before BB Live Show, uh, I was in a sketch comedy group in New York City uh, with a bunch of people that I, I used to work with uh, when I went to college in Syracuse. And I got kicked out of that comedy troupe because I was an <laughs> I was an Let there be no mistake. Let it was written mistake. on the rejection <laughs> form. Exactly. I'm sorry. Just so you know. <laughs> But Let me just inter interject. I've been in a few imp improv comedy troops, and in order to get kicked out of one, you have to be a huge. <laughs> <laughs> You're a huge. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, I know. I mean, it, I felt very, very bad about that, and it affected kind of my will to do stuff that I loved and be creative and be funny and everything. Right. And it wasn't until I kind of found the internet as an outlet and the ability to own your audience and have an honest exchange with your audience that I really kind of felt that I hit my stride and I really, uh, I felt comfortable doing what I really, really loved again. So to, to your question before, what, even if I got a bigger stage and a bigger platform and more money to do something, I don't think that I could ever live without the back and forth, just yeah. even my own. Well, and, and I, I think that's what it is. 100%. It's the two-way street. You start to feel like you are tending to a flock. You think about it less in terms of like, gotta make another show, hope somebody somewhere likes it. Like all of a sudden, you know their names. You met them at this yeah. convention. You tweet with them regularly. And you can't think in terms of like, you know, I, I don't, you, you start to think in terms of like, oh man, I can't wait to hear what Cowgirl Curtis thinks of this. Or, yeah, or totally. you know, whatever the different folks you know. You start to feel more of a responsibility to your audience too, right. probably. Yeah. Completely. Oh, absolutely. Oh, but I, I just home. can't get over the fact that, because you know, yours is a teaching show, mine is a teaching show. I've, touched my, I've taught my audience just as much as they've taught me. It's insane. And that's like one of the coolest things. And that would not happen in any other media. No. Well, and, and, and that's- Because I've made our audience laugh way more than they've made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally. No, but, but it is a two- <laughs> Oh. I see it now. I thought you were making a real, and I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? what All right, let's close it out with uh, advice maybe to people who want to get into this sort of thing. Uh, that's easy. The answer is, uh, it is a race. This is the Oklahoma land grab of new media. Mm. And all you need to do, if you want to be number one in something, is find a category. Move to Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Find a category and be first in it. If yeah. you want to do something and somebody else is doing it, then why bother to try to take them down? They're already there, they're already established, they're already ahead of you. Find some other category and be first in it. There's a million good reasons for you to wait. You should wait till you have better equipment, you should uh -huh. wait until you have a better idea of what you want to do, and all of them you should ignore. Just get out there and turn on the camera. That's how yeah. BB Live Show was started, so that I could be bad live in front of an audience. And we would get 80 people watching live, and I swear, I would start to, you, if you go back to those early episodes, you could see sweat stains under my armpits, <laughs> because 80 whole people were watching me at this moment, <laughs> yeah. and I'm freaking out. But you have to be bad before you can be good, Absolutely. and that's why you got to get started right away. That's, a, well, that's no, identical think, to what I would. Think. I'll tell you what. The only thing I would say to that is, don't worry if somebody's doing something that you would like to do or you feel yeah. you are best mm -hmm. at. Yeah. Like just because number one, they especially with the internet, you know, it's not a, a thing. A lot of people aren't paying mortgages on it. A lot of people just are like <laughs> all of a sudden. You know, their girlfriend gets pregnant, or they want to go back to college, and right, right, right. things become more important or less oh, important. Oh, so you're saying you you could be number two for a year, and then all of a sudden you're the only game in town. Be the best you can be. Yeah, yeah. just find, 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 find what, find what you that. can do 
great. Find yeah, exactly. what the, the stuff that that you naturally like. As soon as you get into it, you get into a rhythm that you think like, okay, we should do this, and then we should do this, and then we should do this. Mm. Like that, that that energy and that kinetic force just keeps going and feeding and feeding and feeding. Yeah. And focus on that. Keep it inside your own head and keep it. Yeah. You know, keep everything just. Deliver, but a absolutely don't do something because you think it's going to be popular, or because you've seen other stuff that went viral and you want to do something like it. Only do it if you're passionate about it. Like I think film rights successful because we're really that passionate about the thing that we're doing. Yes. About scam school is really that successful because you really and it comes off, and you're going to want to continue doing it if you're doing something just because you want numbers. Sooner or later, you're going to get because it's hard. Yeah, it's hard to start, and I agree with you 100. percent Don't wait. Don't wait for better equipment. Just do. Which is what I mean. if you got a flip camera, use a flip camera. Go right. crazy. You have to suck in order yeah, to be good. Like to. understand. Like, ima have imaginary conversations with your heroes and imagine asking them, was there ever a time that you felt like you epically failed? Like, uh, they're going to have... Many, yes. Everyone you respect absolutely. is going to have tales that are absolutely harrowing that will put hair on your 12-year-old chest when you hear it. And <laughs> well, I mean, even if you go back and you look at the first episode of Film Riot, yeah. I suck. No, you did not. Dude, I well, suck. You talked a little I bit fast. I was like, welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes a... Here's a joke. That, that was I you? Totally yeah. That exactly was exactly how it sounded. <laughs> And then if you go even back, which you no know one ever will, and see making the film, oh my gosh, it was horrible. But it oh, was the no. doing over I'll, the years I'll, I'll, that I'll taught tell you me what, to get like, where I am now. There are the first podcasts that I ever did, the first iTricks Magic Week in Review podcast, are horrifying. They're <laughs> terrible. Like, And then there were episodes that I did before that that we didn't put out. Yeah. Like, I just did as practice ones that were yeah. just, it was, it was, it was all the, all the worst like elements that I could. And in that out. sense, uh, 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 failure is almost an ex an essential, completely step in the. It, it's, in the it's an ingredient. Ev that everything's must an be evolution, that. and yeah. if you ever stop evolving, then you know that. Yeah. Well, you fail. And I, well, I think if you just do it, you adhere to a schedule. Hey, I'm going to give something to my audience once a week, bi-weekly, whatever you can do, once a month. And you stick to that and you're always creating. It's insane how Well, I'll, I'll tell you, like, for me, what I notice is I get people all the time asking for specific advice for their magic act or their stage show or whatever. Right. And it's like, I don't even want, I, like, I'll watch the video and I'll try to find at least a little something. But my main point is always like, look, whatever's wrong with your act, it's nothing a thousand shows won't fix. Yeah, like, exactly. you will discover what, what everything that's wrong. You, you'll discover it from the feedback and in fact all I could do is screw things up by skewing you one direction yeah, or another exactly. you need to discover that in there and you need to get out well, there well Brian said no green shirts <laughs> so no green yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah that's why I try to keep all my advice broad uh, and even in the show when we teach stuff we try to keep it as broad as possible because if, like we say in the show if you just copy everything we're doing and this goes for absolutely everything if you copy everything you're us you're not you Yes, and, yeah, and but, you would do things that we wouldn't and, do and if we even tried we probably suck yeah. but let me also say for everybody at this table and I'm sure you know, for 90% for of the internet people People that I know that you know we're all friends with. If you send somebody an honest one sentence question, yeah, I keep it, it short. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. one sentence. I said one sentence. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. But here, I'm here. not asking to read War and Peace, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> One sentence. I love that. I just want to say that I love that you created your internet character in such a way that you can be a douche and everybody's like, oh, yeah. Jerry. <laughs> if any of us said anything off color, people were like, screw you, then. No, I you're just being such a jerk. You know, screw yourself. And they're like, Jerry. Sign Kyle. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> uh, if you send a one sentence honest question, I think anybody will, will respond. To oh, that. absolutely. And then people that do like, well, I don't know. I don't know if Tom Merritt would respond to me. I don't know yeah. if Veronica Belmont. Like, they will all respond. To you. Yeah, we, we read mm -hmm. every tweet. Yeah, yes. we, you know, yeah, yeah. We read Oh my God, comments. that's my favorite. My favorite thing, basically, like, as I've gone from people who, was, who have uh, been a major fan of podcasts to somebody who's done podcasts and have met the personalities that I once watched and, and have been part of my daily life, to realize how much. They are insecure and watching of every single. Oh, we all are right now. Every yeah. single uh -huh. ad reply and, and every yeah. single YouTube. And, and the person that you think is huge and you think wouldn't affect them, they see the thing and they're like, "Did they like my thing? Yeah, did they oh. like the thing I did. Oh, <laughs> that <laughs> sucked." Say, and you're like, "Ah!" And no matter, yeah. there could have been a hundred amazing comments that came before it, but there's no. one. Well, the one oh, guy. Guy. one oh, no. guy. You remember? You remember? I did my my family Christmas card video. Yeah. This time lapse. One minute of us Which baking cookies. It way. was adorable. Hey, nice kitchen. Uh, thank you. Yes. Oh my God! It's a great. Right? I'm like, so I that. But you look at it, you look at it, there's 130 likes, and I wake up the next morning with this one dislike, and I'm like, like I'm gonna kill this yeah. son of a bitch. What? You just and feel like there's like three me, guys that are like just my like, children this that channel. Yeah. And that's for their me goal. though, this this is all totally new because losses was really my first exposure to this kind of Yeah, I had feed. to warn them. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 I 
Have you ever gotten called gay? Did you get called gay yet? No, I didn't get called gay. Oh, gay. You will be. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Not that there's anything wrong with no. that. But I was, no. uh, I mean, talk about obsessed. Every, like, every hour, I was, yeah. refresh, refresh. Well, because, Is because, there a new comment yet? Because, because that's something you can't get in any other media. You don't get that. Nobody bothers to write you 800 letters after a play you're in, you know? Yeah. But you do yeah. get 800 tweets after an episode comes out. Yeah, plus you put your heart and soul into the thing, and you're like, ah, please like it. Exactly. But let me let me yeah. bring it back to what you were saying about uh, uh, about don't try to do what somebody else is doing uh, because uh, and it was it was I can't remember if it was Penn or Teller who wrote this in a Magic magazine article a million years ago but they said let hate not love be your guiding force and what they yeah. meant by that is if you let love be your guiding force like I, when I was a kid I wanted to be Penn and Teller in Magic so I loved Penn and Teller and they're like if you if you play that game the best you will be is a pale copy of Penn and Teller mm -hmm. and whereas if you let hate think about everyone you hate in Magic and do the exact opposite of that yeah. you will carve Name out some. a brand new direction <laughs> Justin Robert Young <laughs> uh, you will carve out a brand new direction and you will be a pioneer and you will discover yourself uh, d discover within yourself stories that you never knew were there right. because you went in a totally new uncharted lane alright but that's it for today thank you again Justin for well, showing up and you guys. chatting Jesus. with us and again uh, no thanks. thanks to uh, Umberto's yes which thank you find. Umberto's my god that's Sicilian pizza Let's it's go have stuff. some, shall we? Oh my god, I'm oh, gonna find a Sicilian uh, and just say, make just, me a pizza. Just, make me a pizza. I'm gonna eat, the, eat those slices until I pass out from it. Art, oh. more pizza. Art! <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> pizza! Snap! <laughs> <that? laughs> I don't know, where is he? Umbertos! <laughs> they were so good! If you're gonna start a business, it's gotta be a good one, would you agree? Uh, I mean, what's I the point so. in starting a bad, that's genius, start a bad business. Why if you wanna start a bad, business? everybody's this trying to start a good business. Everybody's trying to start a good business. But if you this start a bad business, and it could be called whatnottodo.com. Your business is about what not to do, it's a bad business business. So your business is talking about how to be a bad business and in turn are telling good businesses what not to do. This is genius. That's worse than duck So shoes. if you want to do badbusiness.com, you should be using domain.com to get your hosting and URL up and go on URL. What did I just say? I don't know. They got that domain discovery service that'll help you pick the right name for you if badbusiness.com is taken. Maybe they'll give you, hey, don't do this. This is a bad business. You shouldn't be a bad business. You should be a good business.com, which might be a little, nobody's going to want to type that. So you'll have to, you'll have to shorten it. Maybe abbreviate it. I'm not even going to try to figure out what all the first letters of that was. If you want to get it cheaper too, you can use our coupon code FILMRIOT at checkout for 15% off. So get your bad business business up and going by using Domain.com today. Logo. So that's it for today. And this time that is in fact it for that Slate the Slate episode. I'm sure we're going to revisit it again, do another episode. We don't have anything shot right now. So the next thing we do will be more current. We shot that like what a year ago now? Oh, really oh, oh. Long time maybe ago. even two years ago. We've been sitting on it for a while, like an egg, just trying to, you know, get it to hatch. It was oh, beautiful. It's a, little, it's a beautiful little, little, little chicky. You can follow me on my Twitter, speaking of birds, at twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley. You can also check out our Triune apparel site to get some sweet filmmaker gear. Look at all that sweetness and gear and for filmmakers and what have you. But I'll see you guys next week when I, mm, movie trivia. Totally didn't think of one. Give me one. Uh, when Harry met Sally. That's a... That's... Did that defeat the purpose? Yeah, it did. <laughs>